Spring Boot is a very popular framework for rapidly developing production-grade applications. Spring Boot simplifies and accelerates application development with its powerful yet simple to use annotations and artifacts and does most of the auto configuration for you giving you an app which you can just run. In this video you will get a taste of Spring Boot, some of its basic pieces and experience the ease with which we can build a production grade application. We will build a simple hello world app with a REST endpoint. Here I have Spring Tool Suite running which is a flavor of Eclipse. We will create a new project by going to File, New, Other, Spring Boot, Spring Starter Project. Let's name it Hello World. Keep the build as Maven, packaging as Jar, Java version as 11. Let's keep the rest of the defaults for the artifact and version ID. Click Next. We can choose the version of Spring Boot to use. We will use 2.3.1. Now here are a list of dependencies we can include. We can add databases, SQL, security, cloud, etc. These are added as Spring Boot starters and Spring Boot will do most of the configuration for these for you. Let's search for web and add it. The Spring Boot starter web dependency will make Spring Boot do most of the Spring MVC configuration for us. Click Next and then Finish. Now here is our project with the familiar Maven structure. Here is our main file where we see the add Spring Boot application annotation. This annotation triggers auto configuration among other things. Let's create a REST endpoint. As I said earlier, just by including the web dependency, Spring Boot has added artifacts and support to make our app a Spring MVC app with us not having to write a single line of code. Let's create a controller package by right clicking and choosing new package, name it controller. Now right click and choose new class, call it hello controller. Now before we write the code for the controller, let's take a look at our maven pom file. Here you can see the spring boot 2.3.1 release, java version, spring boot starter web dependency which will do the MVC configuration for us, the starter test dependency and the compiler plugin. If you go to dependency hierarchy, you can see that Spring Boot Starter Web pulls in a whole lot of dependencies like logging, Spring Core, JSON, Spring MVC, etc. This is called the bill of materials and Spring Boot manages the right dependencies and the right versions for them without you having to worry about them. Back to our class, let's add the add rest controller annotation which simplifies the creation of REST web services and marks this class as a controller. Let's fix the import. Using at request mapping, let's map the root URL to the following method which returns a string. Let's call it return hello. Inside which we return hello world. Let's fix the import. Alright, that is it. We have a Spring MVC app with a REST endpoint and how easy it was. Alright, let us run this by right clicking on the project and choosing run as Spring Boot app. From the console we see that it has started an embedded Tomcat for us which is listening on port 8080. Let's go to our browser and type http localhost 8080 and since our root URL is mapped to the REST controller, it returns back hello world. So hopefully you got a taste of Spring Boot how easy and rapid it makes the development process. By just adding the starter web dependency, Spring Boot configured our app to be a Spring MVC app. All we did was write our few lines of code to create a REST endpoint and then we invoked it. We just created a custom controller here. But if you want to see a fully fledged MVC app with all the layers like model, view controller, please watch my videos Spring Boot Building a Spring MVC App Part 1 and Part 2. Thanks for watching.